one question at a time. Um, so yeah, so I have that question one and just copy and paste. I wonder if I, what will happen if I be, uh, if I do it lazily. So, you know, I usually clean up the text, but let me see if I, what happens if I just uh, ask this. It, it might actually do fine. We'll see. Um, so, describe some allegation of, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's ChatGPT will do well on this question. Let's see if it includes these terms. Probably does. Um, uh, ultraviolet catastrophe increase without bound as frequency. Yeah, that's ultraviolet catastrophe. Um, religion's law. Yeah, frequent. This is the part that's catastrophe. Um, and plan successfully by probably quantized. Escape, yeah. And Planck law is the, um, um, it, it's the uh, intensity as a function of wavelength or frequency that I think you've seen me handle in lecture. I've uh, done one demo of doing the numerical integration so that using Planck's law, you, uh, you recover a Stefan Boltzmann law that you may have learned in Physics 4B. So yeah, that, this is a good answer. Um, no issue with that. <laughs> no, of course, there's an issue if a student is submitting this as an answer, but I, I don't find any factual issue with that particular answer. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's the setup. Uh, plot of provides several things. Plot should increase the potential. Um, so this is wrong. It, it depends on the direction in which you apply potential difference. Um, cut off voltage. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, and, um, So th this is uh, confused and wrong. Let me correct it in some detail. Um, by measuring the cutoff voltage. Okay, that's correct expression. Yeah, you know, we don't do it this way because uh, it, um, when you arrange things this way, you, your expression here relies on the work function, which is actually a common unknown. And there's even when you might know it, there's an uncertainty associated with it. Uh, yeah, so all of this is very, um, it's a very confused answer. <laughs> And, you know, if I see, so I think I actually remember seeing cutoff of voltage in some of the people's pre-labs. Um, now I know you're getting the answer, that answer from ChatGPT. Because, um, so, the way it's, a, I guess a, there's a sense in which you might have a cutoff of voltage, but the way in which they are describing here, that is just totally wrong. Let me just correct this paragraph. So, um, yeah, let me set this up and then kind of go through that. I needed some space to draw diagrams. That's what that's for. So, where it says current should increase as the potential difference increases. Um, it's not the most common way the experiment is set up. So if we have the experiment set up the way you had in lab, uh, with photocathode here and the anode here, and you have light shining on uh, this side of the uh, thing, 
and electrons are being ejected uh, from this uh, metal surface. Then the typical the, the experimental setup where how we set up the experiment to to measure um, the things we are measuring with a photoelectric effect, we set it up so that this side has negative voltage. And this side, if it has any voltage, it would have positive voltage or for um, avoidance of confusion, let's say this is at zero volt. So as you make this uh, anode more and more negative, electrons are going to be repelled from it. So that's the situation which where you might have a cutoff of voltage. Um, for the picture that they are describing here, for this to be true, you actually have to have a different hypothetical scenario where you're applying a positive voltage so that it attracts electrons. And I can imagine that um, effect is saturating. At some point, you know, you can only attract all the electrons that are ejected. Um, so, so, so I can imagine there being a, a current saturating, but so that effect it won't allow you to measure any fundamental constants. That won't allow you to measure Planck's constant. It won't allow you to measure kinetic energy of the electrons because you are simply adding more energy to it. Um, so, for the situation where you are trying to measure the kinetic energy of the electron, you have to have this setup in which case what it's describing about electrons accelerate to try the detector, that's wrong. That's totally false. I don't even know where that comes from. <laughs> um, and so the current is saturating, again, totally false. That's where you're doing positive voltage thing. Um, where it says the cutoff of voltage is related to the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted electrons, that is related to this setup here, the standard setup. So it's uh, confused the jumble of a paragraph there where you know, it's, it's wrong. <laughs> and I guess for this part, I'll just leave it for your um, what you did for lab slash pre-lab. Um, how, like this proposed analysis, totally flawed. You wouldn't approach it that way. It's just a... Uh, um, because the way you do it in lab, we feed a line to the curve and the slope gives you the Planck's constant. And that approach is actually independent of um, work function. You could have a big error in the work function without having a big error in the Planck constant. But um, what they're trying to do here, no, <laughs> that simply won't work. But of course, ChatGPT doesn't know that. It doesn't know anything. Okay, I'm happy. Uh, it didn't answer this question right. Let's do question three. Um, which aspect of the photoelectric effect cannot be? Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. It, it can answer. I can imagine it answering that pretty well. Yeah, the existence of threshold frequency. Wow. I, I don't know why. I thought this existence that um, somehow sounded like it. Uh, I could almost believe this is a paragraph that I myself had written. Um, I, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's just um, it just hitting with that. So this is correct, as I was saying. I couldn't believe that I had written that. Uh, instant emission of electrons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think this is also one of the ones high up on the list. Um, yeah. Yeah, although uh, I, I'm not entirely convinced the wave model can explain it well. Because uh, sometimes when people make this argument, it basically has to do with uh, what effective size of wave receiving um, area you are talking about. Uh, so, anyways, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> but this is a standard answer. So, yeah, okay, you answered it correctly. Um, so, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure at least a few of you were using ChatGPT for pre lab, which. 
I gotta tell you, it's pretty pointless. Um, it's because you people will not get a higher grade in this class through work that you submitted using ChatGPT because it simply doesn't matter. Uh, at some point is so either you've demonstrated your understanding of physics in a real time setting so that I don't really have doubt in your understanding of physics either that or it, when there's a doubt uh, we'll meet in real time and you'll answer these questions in real time and you can use ChatGPT there so um, ChatGPT is never earning you a grade that you didn't earn some other proper, uh, in honest way. So there, there's like, like you know, for some students who are in that situation, like you don't have to turn in free laps. Like you, you, you'll be fine. Um, <laughs> so, anyways.